busy night for crews called in to clean up water damage in local businesses after tropical storms pounded our area all day. Now you can see what commuters had to contend with on the ride home. It was slow everywhere. Once they got to 128, it looked an awful lot more like a river. Katie Brace live in Waltham tonight. And Katie, Waltham got hit especially hard. That's right, Lisa, and Waltham Police tell me in just an hour and a half, they received 27 calls for disabled vehicles because of the floodwaters. Now, here at this business, they tried to use sandbags to keep the water out, but really as fast as the water had risen, it then receded, leaving folks with cleanup. Taking off your shoes is one way to get through some of the worst flooding they've seen at Nova Biomedical in Waltham. I called my husband. I said, George, you know what's happened? My car is in the water. Across the area, heavy downpours turn parking lots and streets into pools. Apparently with uh, this little car, she didn't want to go any further than uh, the middle of the puddle. Social media was filled with images of people documenting the flash flooding late Wednesday afternoon. A driver took this video of a flooded Waltham intersection. This photo is of busy 128, and this one of what drivers were greeted to on Route 9 in Wellesley. When I look, the water was up to the door. The fast rising water flooded not only the parking lot, but the inside of Nova Biomedical. The maintenance crew tried to work fast with sandbags along the doors. A little flooded. And used a garden rake to clean up the storm drains. It's been an experience. And the maintenance crew says they have only seen flooding like this one other time in the past four years, and that was due to a hurricane. Reporting live in Waltham, Katie Brace, WBZ News. Lisa. Katie, thank you.